know, they came and they conquered us with Bible and sword, and they demonized our gods. And if we oppose them, then we're the devil. Well then guess what, motherfucker? I am Lucifer Rising. My relationship with Christian death began at a very, very early stage in my life. Ross Williams, for me, was just like, you know, a pioneer. One of the reasons I'm doing music, not too long ago, before I was in prayers, I was in this band called Vampire. Before we played, I would always walk on stage and set up a shrine dedicated to Roz Williams. First time I met Roz was when they had a show with us when I was in the adolescence. I walk in and there's this character in the mirror kind of preening himself and everything. I was really just enamored with him. I look over at him, he looks over at me, and we're just like... There's this whole you know, veil of secretness that you know, he would sit there and keep his head down. His hair was long and it would block everyone from seeing what was really going on. He was like this person that just was in his own little world. And... To be in the punk scene going against the grain, people didn't really know what to make of us. A lot of the punks would be confused and either be pissed off or say, oh, this is cool. It was time, basically, for something like that to come along. I mean, there was Bauhaus and there was, you know, 45 Grave and bands like that, but they tended to not have the, the real dark side, you know? A couple years ago, George and James and I were talking about forming a new group in the Christian death vein, kind of a, a reflection to only Theater of Pain. I thought, well, let's let's go to song title names. We went down the line, cavity, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And every time it was used, it was used, it was used. Then I thought, wait a minute, we didn't do, we didn't, we, what about prayer? Then our roommate said, have you guys seen this article of this band? They're, they're like Cholo Goth and they're called Prayers. I am God's truth. I came here to take what's rightfully mine. It's always been mine. I sold my fucking soul for this. Here we are in fucking Studio 606. We're working with Rick, Jitane, and James, you know? For me, it's almost like I was already putting it in the universe. I guess my magic is really strong because I'm fucking manifesting the things that I want and desire. We invite them into our war world. It's really organic. We brought something to the table and they were like, yeah, we fuck with this. Then we just got in there and just let the muses take over. That was the magic in what was happening that day. For David, it's nothing. David doesn't hear sounds. He sees shapes, shapes and colors. David can speak for himself, but David trusts me enough to speak for him because he knows that I only speak the truth. Cursed be thy blessings. And it's about polarity. One man's treasure is another man's trash and vice versa. Roz, the enigma, the person that not many people really got a chance to know. He was very closed off and unapproachable. Roz was a poet, and I think Reaper is a poet as well. Looking for truth, real truth, where I think there's very little. Leifer, with how he approaches his music and his work, they're going against a stereotype, you know, within their own world that, that most people cannot relate to. For Leifer, from the, the day I met him, it was nothing but 
this honest, sincere. Yeah. Come into my welcome into my welcome, world. Welcome to my world. We speak, therefore it is. Then it bears fruit. That's what's beautiful about everything that's happening. We are able to reflect on the past, on the life that we've lived. You know, I used to fucking cry, man. I used to think about fucking killing myself because my life was shit. I lost so many things. It was my rite of passage, man. It was my rite of passage. I've been anointed in blood. I was chosen for this shit. And I see it in the eyes of our audience, our fans, what we like to call our family. When I look into their eyes, I see unconditional love. And they see it in mine. here to gather my motherfucking people and let them know what motherfucking time it is.